Vincent. Hello, we're here with Sensei Jeremiah Lockwood, and he's going to show us the Deep River Blues. Okay, so uh, it's built around this chord shape, which is very similar to the you know the B seven shape that B7 we do. B seven shape. Bringing it up here. It's, it's the same as that, but Vincent refingering knows that. it so that you can cover the B string fifth fret here. And uh, as Doc Watson uh, mentions in his instructional video, he does not play the A string during the main uh, riff of the song. The thumb is doing this. Playing a two beat uh, thumb, thumb pattern. And then... Okay, so that's, that's what's happening. Uh, up there, mm -hmm. so... Okay, so that's the beginning. Beginning. And then we go to the four chord. A7. A7. And you have a walk down. Third, second, open. Beautiful. G, F, sharp, E. And you go to an E chord. First position E chord. Uh, uh, eight beats of uh, kind of of uh, space where that's a nice spot for fills, right? Way. So that's that's the the first phrase can end. And the second phrase are very similar. They just they end differently. The first one ends uh, uh, on the five chord. And that's kind of like the, um, the, uh, the the question, the antecedent phrase. And the second one ends uh, just the five chord, and then resolves to the one chord. So that's the answer, the consequent phrase. Play it for me, Sensei. Okay, so all the way through, it's. Sensei? Yes. That's beautiful.